I'm Ming Jen. I teach 18 children ages 3 to 5 with two other team members, Dan and Polly. Is it really loud or is it really quiet? It's loud. It's loud. Our children are all different ages and they have unique abilities, interests, experiences, and personalities. Was it high or was it low? During our science exploration, we work hard to help each of them learn at their own level and at their own pace. Five girls! In our classroom, we're exploring sound. At circle time, I led a discussion so I could get a better sense of the children's interests and understanding. I can hear it. What does that sound like? <laughs> that is really cool. After circle, we'll work at learning centers in smaller groups. Do you think you could try maybe one more way? Very nice. We make sure to set up centers with lots of different materials for the children to choose from. Having a say in what they are doing encourages the children to investigate independently and keeps them engaged for longer periods of time. This allows us the freedom to create different groups for some deeper and more focused conversations. Hey, where do you think it's going to fall? Quiet. You think it's quiet? Where do you think Pong Pong is going to fall? On the quieter side or a quiet side? I think on a quieter side. With 18 children, it's hard to keep track of their learning, but it is so important that we do. Throughout our day, we record our observations of the children. We note which children are working together, ideas we want to test. We have sliding, hitting, or drop it on the table. And who could use encouragement to try out something new? Do you want to make a sound for me to hear? Here. We'll have children work in pairs, and then we'll challenge one child to match what the other is doing. Sometimes, we'll pick two students who are at a similar level of understanding and verbal ability. What does it sound like? It sounds like... We also look for opportunities to pair our older children who are more verbal like to, to make the bumpy sound. and black one. With the younger, shyer ones. <laughs> this is a great strategy for encouraging the children to learn from each other. <laughs> Devin, when we blew at the boat at the same time, you know what happens? Air got captured. Yeah, it got stuck right, right here. Children have a lot of different learning styles. Do they sound the same or different? Different, they sound different. So we try and communicate ideas in as many different ways as possible. We ask questions. What does that sound like to you? Is it loud or soft? Soft. Which one's louder and which one's softer? Which one louder and which one's softer? Yeah. Which one makes a quieter sound? The Robin Man! We model down, what we hear. want the children to do. Up and down, like that swatch poly. Is it different or the same? It's the same, yeah. You can hear it this way or you can hear it this way. And we explain what's happening in words. In order to make a sound, you have to make a motion. That means you have to make an action, like what you just said. Drum, shake, move, tab, rub, scratch. But these are all motions. 
taking extra time to support each child's needs really pays off. They end up being so much more engaged in the science that we are studying.